Hey guys, it's Tech Genie, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you a quick video on how to make your Android look like iOS. Um, but first, quick uh, announcement, we're going to make an announcement video uh, coming up, it'll be up in a couple of days, so don't miss that out, it's important, um, it's just an announcement of what we, our future plans with our channel and things like that. So um, let's just walk you through this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the different uh, apps that we use. Okay, so this is the lock screen. Uh, I'm using Doddle Locker at the moment. Uh, and what it basically is, it's just your average lock screen. Uh, just a re replacement. Good thing about this one, um, I will say it doesn't look exactly like iOS. It still has a slide to unlock um, and the nice little animation going across it. But this lock screen does give you notifications, which is really useful because most lock screens that show you like an iOS don't. So you can see if I just slide to unlock, uh, it's got the same keypad as iOS 8 um, and when I unlock all of the transitions are the same. Okay so I'm currently using iLauncher, um, I will say to get this you need to get a, another app um, and that's called 4Shared Premium, I'll leave a link in the description. But basically what this does, um, it changes everything to look like iOS, so you can see um, all of the icons are changed, iOS looking uh, down here, you've got all of the different icons looking like iOS 8. Um, and the nice thing is it creates folders as well, so you can go into a folder and you can change it, give it the same name, um, and you can obviously, you know, add things in and move it around. Um, another thing I want to share with you is the way that it works. You can see I can select an app and it does that wiggly motion, which is actually quite nice. So let's say, for example, I want to hide an app, um, and I want to hide Widget Locker, okay? So you can click on it, you can change the icon, you can change its title, set this app as, or you can hide the app. So if I can press hide the app, you can now no longer see the app, which means... Um, if you're an Android user, you'll have a lot of apps that you can't get rid of if you're not rooted. Um, and if you want to get those apps back, you can go into preferences and you can go into app management and you can restore your hidden apps. But the nice thing about that is means your home screen is not really cluttered. And you can see it's really responsive and fast. Okay, so I have also got the notification bar that uh, comes with iOS 8. Um, this is just called Control Center. You have to get this from the 4Shared app that I have mentioned. It will be in the description um, and I'll give you a tutorial at the end of this video on how to get that. So stick around for that if you want to get all this stuff. But basically what this does, you can adjust the brightness. Um, I can turn on rotation, Wi-Fi and all of that. Um, I can also play music and skip songs, okay? Um, okay, so the last thing I want to mention to you guys is the notification bar. If you are an Android user who, who's rooted your phone, if you haven't, check out my video down below in the description on how to get Lollipop on your phone. Um, if you've done that and you've got CyanogenMod installed or any kind of custom ROM, you can install themes. So what I've got is I've currently got the theme uh, Morpheus Skin Vault. Um, I don't know if you can read that, but again, I will put it in the description. Um, and what it does is it changes the notification bar to give you the little uh, circly blob things that are on iOS and it just looks a bit more iOS like. Okay, so earlier on in the video I mentioned um, how to get these apps. So the apps that you will need are Control Center, Doddle Locker, iOS 8 Wallpapers, uh, 4 Shared Premium. Now to get some of these apps they are no longer in the um, Play Store so you have to download them from third party sources. So one of the uh, places I get things from is 4 Shared Premium. You can download, download this off the Play Store, just type in 4 Shared and it'll come up 4 Shared Premium, just click on it and install it. Uh, once you're done, just go up here and search. So you can search for um, uh, iLauncher. And this is the launcher that I'm currently using. And as I say, this is not in the Play Store, so you won't find this in the Play Store. Um, and then obviously it'll search um, and it'll give you some links. Click on, I don't know, the first link, iLauncher you can get on here. And then you just press the download button here and it starts the download. And then to get the download, you just go onto here, uh, this little menu bar and go into downloads and then install the app. Um, if you can't get for can't get it on for shared, you can get an app called Aptoid. Um, this is basically just like a second party um, app store. So you can just download uh, different apps that you can't get off the app store. And you can just type in here iLauncher as well. Um, and just download it from here. Yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Uh, stick around, we'll have a, as I said at the beginning, we're gonna have a um, announcement video coming up soon, so go check that one out. And yeah, thanks guys. Um, so that's it guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Um, comments if you wanna see any other videos like this or whatever. Um, check out our other videos. Uh, so yeah, cheers guys.